you want to get better at snowrunner but this happens every single time then look no further because in this video I'm going to show you 8 advanced tips or tricks that you never seen or heard before and I guarantee these will help to elevate your gameplay to the next level. Crane flip. With this one you have to think fast because if you see your truck tipping over to the right hand side of the vehicle there is a button combination you can press and you can potentially save your, your rig from tipping over and that will save you a lot of time and a lot of grief and I'm sure they'll put a smile on your face at the same time. So the moment you see your truck tipping over you have to be pressing up on your d-pad and an X button. That will deploy the crane and most likely will help your truck from tipping over. Most importantly it will keep your engine running and you can use the crane to fully straighten your truck. Unpacking cargo. If you find yourself in a hopeless situation where you're going up the hill and your truck just cannot go up it, or let's say you're stuck in a swampy area and there's just no traction, the wheels keep spinning, there is one trick you can try and this is to unpack your cargo. This will make your rig a lot lighter and you'll be able to traverse the terrain that you was previously stuck in. Engine start. This is a fairly simple one, but a lot of people don't know about this. So instead of pressing up on a D-pad and starting your engine or switching your engine that way, there is another way to do it. So if you press an LB button on your controller and an A, that will start your engine. So it's a shortcut in a way which help you quickly switch on or switch off the engine without going into the functions menu. Downshift. So the transmissions in SnowRunner's game are all automatic and there's no way to manually change the gear. That makes it difficult going uphill when you're fully loaded or carrying a lot of cargo. Luckily there's a way to overcome this. As you can see in the sample video the Kenworth 963 is carrying a lot of weight and it's upshifting all the way to the 7th gear while struggling up the hill. This is not right because it's not selecting the right gear. It absolutely lost all the momentum and it had to downshift all the way from the 7th gear into 1st. That is not an ideal way to climb the hill. Not losing the momentum going up the hill is vital in this game. So in the second attempt to climb this hill, I'm gonna share with a very useful trick with you guys. So when you're climbing the hill and you can feel the vehicle is starting to lose the momentum, you can force the gearbox to downshift by pressing the LB button. You have to put practice in with this trick to make the most out of it. But as you can see in the video, I am pressing the LB button to force the truck to shift to the 6th, to the 5th, to the 4th and then finally to the 3rd gear without losing any momentum. So the truck keeps climbing because now it's in the right, right gear. This one is really hard to explain and you have to listen to the engine and to the RPM and kind of see where your truck is speed wise and you can make that decision to downshift by pressing the LB button. That also works uh, going downhill. If you feel your truck should be in a higher gear going downhill and you want to go faster, you can also press LB to upshift. Advanced winch control. So I'm absolutely sure all of the SnowRunner players can relate with this one. We're trying to grab something with the crane and there's so many items on the floor. We're struggling to point the crane in the right direction so the winch point becomes available. There is a function called winch control. So if we press the X button while we're operating the crane, we will be able to select whichever winch point as long as it's within the operating area of the crane. I didn't know about this trick for the longest of time and just recently found out. Shout out to John by the way. Winching from the back. So let's say you are stuck and you only have one winch point which is potentially your lifeline and can get you through this muddy terrain. You might have noticed the closer you get to the object you're winching to, the weaker your winch becomes. 
and you can no longer traverse the muddy terrain. That's because the shorter the winch cable is, the less power it produces. Overcome this by attaching the back of your rig to the object you're winching to, making the winch cable as long as possible, that will give you the ma maximum power to winch yourself out of any situation. Reverse with diff lock on. If the conventional way of reversing doesn't help you to get through the obstacle, I might have a solution. The vehicles that don't have diff lock always on feature switches the diff lock off when you start reversing. This requires going into reverse mode manually and engaging the diff lock that way. That will give you way more traction reversing and most likely will help you to get through any obstacle you're facing. packing vehicles and trailers on top of the cargo. So this is a trick for all you players out there who doesn't like to make two trips and tries to get everything done in one trip. So we all know about overloading, but did you guys know that you can actually pack vehicles safely on top of your, on top of your cargo? And it's not only vehicles, you can do that with trailers also. So by now most of you probably know that you can pack scout field trailers on top of your roof. But that's not it, you can also pack the scout field trailer on top of your cargo which is packed. And you can also put a vehicle on top of the cargo and pack it safely so it doesn't fall off. This trick will help you for all those people who don't like to make two trips and tries to get everything done in one. So this is it now runners, hopefully you found this video really useful. I hope this will make your game more enjoyable and more easy to play because no runner is not an easy game. Is there any other tricks that you know and I haven't covered them in this video? Please let me know if that's the case and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.